Assalamu alaikum dear participants. This is Muhammad Abdul Rahman from Park Pure Line. Park Pure Line is working in three domains, food, nutrition and halal. Under these domains, we are working on different projects like food safety awareness sessions, technical trainings, workshops and seminars. We are also offering our advisory and R&D facilities uh, to food industry, food safety and nutrition publications, distance learning programs, safe food production units, industry development projects, and academic industrial collaborations. So uh, with the uh, public and private sector organizations, we are working uh, uh, in collaboration. Different organizations are, are on board with us. We are uh, uh, running different projects. Uh, the topic of today's presentation is the milk safety and quality assurance in dairy industry, farm to fork approach. Uh, the course contents include the concept of clean milk production, the milk chain, farm to fork, milk quality and hygiene at farm, collection and processing, mastitis control and prevention, monitoring quality during milk production, quality control in the dairy plant, the HACCP and GMP systems, milk microbiology, QC lab equipment and milk testing, economics of clean milk production, milk bone infections, and case study. What is milk? The whole lacteal secretion of mammary glands of the mammals obtained by the process of milking of animals during the period following at least 72 hours after calving or until the milk is free from colostrum containing not less than 3.5% fat and 8.5% SNF. Milk is considered to be a complete meal. Meal, from nutritional point of view, it contains a bundle of uh, quality uh, nutri nutrients and ingredients in it. It contains a balanced form of all the necessary and uh, digestible elements for building and maintaining the human body. Immunoglobulins in milk protect the newly born against a number of diseases. Research has shown that milk and milk products have an immune enhancing property as well, particularly for the benefit of HIV AIDS affected people. Milk loaded with nutrients like protein, vitamin A, B1, B12 and D, potassium and magnesium etc. Food and Agriculture Organization observes that the World Milk Day on 1st June every year to recognize the importance of milk. Milk has been recognized as an important constituent of our daily diet, including in tea, other beverages like coffee, shakes, smoothies, etc. Milk has got numerous uses but is most often enjoyed alone because milk is regarded as a complete meal. Now, this is the compositional analysis of uh, uh, different uh, of milk of different species like cow, goat, and sheep milk. Butter in cow milk is about 87.2% that is 85.8% uh, in goat milk and 81.6% in sheep milk. So total solids as well 12.8% in cow milk, 14.2% in goat milk and 18.4% in uh, sheep milk. Fat is 4% in cow milk, 4.9% in goat milk and 6.5% in sheep milk. Protein 3.5%, 4.3%, and 6.7% respectively in cow, goat, and sheep milk. Lactose that is 4.5% in cow milk, 4.1% in goat milk, and 4.3% in sheep milk. Ash and other minerals like uh, cow milk contain 0.9%, goat milk, and sheep milk also contains the same amount. Composition of milk after 24 hours of calving. This table shows the uh, uh, percentage of uh, milk compo components that is uh, obtained after 24 hours of calving. It, it, it is uh, comparable with the colostrum. Total solids are 12.5%, water 87.5%, fat 4%, protein 3.3%. Casein 2.6%, albumin 0.5%, beta lactoglobulin 0.3%, alpha lactalbumin 0.13%, serum albumin 0.04%, immunoglobulin 0.09%, and lactose 4.6%.
milk is definitely important in human health from nutritional point of view as it is rich in protein fat carbohydrates lactose and high quantum of soluble fibers also known as vitamins and various uh, minerals essential for sustaining life and maintaining sound health the milk protein contains all the major amino acids required for building tissues and the repair of damaged cells of the body soluble fibers bond with sugar and fat and delay digestion therefore milk is highly recommended for people suffering from constipation warm milk is good for people with stomach problems and even those who have erratic meal timings milk contains uh, vitamin b12 that ensures healthy functioning of the brain and the nervous system niacin also known as vitamin b3 may help to maintain a steady weight and improve energy expenditure daily food a uh, dairy food calcium also increases the fat metabolism and the milk calcium may reduce the risk of hypertension by maintaining the elasticity of blood vessels goat and sheep milk contain capric acid a healthy fat that helps in raising the levels of hdl cholesterol milk has a wonderful beverage uh, containing palmolic palmitoleic acid and that is another healthy fat protects against the insulin resistance so Uh, uh, it is also uh, acts as a laxative milk that has a pleasant taste, so it it must be included in diet as it is rich in uh, plenty of nutrients. What is the concept of milk clean milk production? It includes uh, production of milk to clean uh, and uh, safe practices. including farm to fork approach what is a clean and safe milk the milk coming from the healthy and halal dairy animals under the hygienically sound surroundings of the dairy farm having pleasant flavor awareness of dirt and filth containing relatively small number of bacteria that is 200000 very good standard and essentially free from pathogens may be defined as clean milk the basic uh, definition of uh, uh, clean and safe milk must comply the dairy animal should be halal that is why we can uh, say this milk is safe and clean however the clean milk should not be confused with the cleaned milk which generally means the milk that has been passed through a strainer or a clean cloth to remove visible extraneous materials benefits of clean and safe milk production ensures a uh, considerably harmless presence of bacteria count in milk ensures increased shelf life of milk for prolonged keeping quality minimizes chance of disease outbreak in calf milking cows and human beings reduces the veterinary and medication cost helps to maintain economic replacement and farm stock creates scope of higher market price in marketing making profit from the safe milk creates confidence and maximum satisfaction of the customers and consumers on quality of the milk inspect of healthy health in interest it creates the opportunity of sporting milk ensures its expected uh, sustainability of the dairy farm production of clean and safe milk is always profitable so being directly or indirectly related to the interest of the producers manufacturers and consumers due to the following reasons like number 1 is interest of producers clean milk renders protection against diseases like septic sore throat The septic sore throat is essentially of human nature, but can become established in the udder of the cow. Likewise, mustaches affected cow can easily contaminate other healthy animals. Typhoid fever, dysentery, and other uh, diseases are transmitted to the milk by direct contamination through human contact. Under these circumstances, circumstances, it is uh, it is must to be careful about the maintenance of hygienic conditions of their farms. unless due attention for cleanliness is paid properly milk is likely to get contaminated by other microbes through uh, body dust or animal mm, or through other agencies consequently the life of unprocessed raw milk will definitely be shortened the producers will find it very difficult to dispose uh, the products at the time of consuming distant places number 2 is the interest of the manufacturer quality raw materials is always essential for quality finished with product the quality raw material enables the manufacturer to produce high quality products 
the high quality product is a factor uh, which in turn increases the sale and consumption of milk products the margin of profit will definitely more be more interest of the uh, consumer consumers interest provides the better keeping quality and chances of spoilage are minimized consumers interest also gives them guarantee against the milk bond infections and diseases like typhoid diarrhea etc steps that are considered in producing clean and safe milk the quality of milk is variable due to several factors which are maintained and needed to be controlled by the milk producers in order to maintain and upgrade the quality of the milk the following are the steps involved in methods of producing clean and safe milk being maintained by the dairymen number 1 is the maintenance of herd animal health that, that is the uh, basic step maintenance of cleanliness of cows flanks and udder maintenance of cleanliness of farm premises and surroundings basic hygiene and safety must be ensured control of flies and both external and internal parasites and rodents cleanliness and sterilization of utensils in which milk is uh, uh, poured and uh, conveyed to other places cleanliness and health status of milkman it should uh, the milkman should be disease free and its medical check checkup must be ensured after every 6 months types and sanitization of the milk pans straining through removal of sediment and extraneous materials effective time bound and regular regularity in feeding with the avoidance of toxic soil of flavored health affecting and corrosive feed proper cold chain maintenance storing and preservation during transporting up to the supply uh, to the final consumers maintenance of standard bacterial population through adequate pasteurization the milk chain includes a farm to fork approach the milk must be uh, uh, conveyed in, in safe uh, vessels safe containers that the bacterial load must be uh, uh, under uh, defined limits the milk chain the efficient production of milk under good hygienic conditions is the key to successful dairying the principal constraint in particularly small holding system is a high level of bacterial contamination in the milk this might lead to its spoilage before it reaches the market milk preserving quality if the milk is cool to 4 degrees celsius within a period of 2 to 3 hours after milking it means nearly its original quality and remains good for processing and consumption collection the need for good hygienic practices and a streamlined collection and transport system is crucial an important step in this respect is nearly all cases uh, the establishment of a simple collection point near to a group of milk producers recording a collection is important to keep record of all milk that is collected marketing of milk is particularly difficult for small scale producer who lives scattered in rural areas so now we will discuss about uh, mastitis that is a, a disease of uh, dairy animals udders Mastitis is the highest, biggest enemy of a dairy farmer, whether small or big. It reduces both the productivity of the cow and the quality of milk. Mastitis is very common. Seventeen to twenty percent of the total dairy uh, cow population suffers from mastitis. Mastitis is a disease characterized by inflammation of the udder and is caused by bacteria. There are two types of uh, mastitis, like subclinical and clinical mastitis. clinical mastitis is most common it cannot be observed easily on physical examination of the udder also there are no visible changes in the milk gradual decline in milk production is a characteristic feature of subclinical mastitis the milk has a normal or slightly increased mastic cell count however in clinical mastitis it is it is characterized by the presence of an inflammatory reaction in the udder it is usually accompanied by a mild fever and the animal is depressed it means animal shows uh, some clinical signs of disease or uh, uh, being depressed the milk is uh, abnormal and the affected quarter is sensitive to touch and painful to the animal the milk yield is definitely reduced the most important effects of mastitis include the reduced milk yield per cow 
deleterious effects on the composition of milk and consequently its rejection by a processor or consumer presence of bacteria and other infections uh, infectious agents which may be harmful to human health but also to the cow mastitis therapy results in the presence of antibiotic residue in milk rendering it unsuitable for human consumption or for further dairy processing animal suffering from the disease and may even die often one or more quarters or even the whole udder may become permanently dysfunctional now we will talk about milk quality control milk quality control uh, basically aim aim to uh, prevent the milk from various or uh, several diseases or quality uh, parameters that may deteriorate its quality milk testing and quality control is an essential component of any milk processing industry whether small medium or large scale milk being made up of 87% water is prone to adulteration by unscrupulous middlemen and unfaithful farm workers moreover its high nutritive value makes it an ideal medium for the rapid multiplication of bacteria particularly when it is produced under unhygienic conditions and stored at ambient temperature in order for any processor to make good dairy products good quality raw materials are essential milk quality control is the use of approved tests to, to ensure the application of approved practices standards and regulations concerning the milk and milk products the tests are designed to ensure milk that milk products meet set standards for composition and purity as well as acceptable levels of different microorganisms and somatic cells monitoring quality during milk production and processing that is definitely a different laboratory analysis and quality control mechanism must be implicated uh, to identify that either uh, quality of milk is as per standard so milk processing has three primary objective destruction of pathogenic bacteria through pasteurization or boiling keeping the quality of the product without significant significant loss of flavor appearance physical and nutritive properties selective control of organisms which may produce unsatisfactory products milk processing plant produces produces seed to prevent further bacterial contamination of raw materials reduce bacterial numbers in milk protect the finished product from recontamination through careful handling proper packaging and storage process flow of uh, milk this is the process flow, flow of milk the whole milk is uh, entered in milk industry or dairy industry different products are formulated the processing takes place under uh, set standards all milk when received to the uh, dairy industry it goes for quality control testing then cooling and storage to the silos after that milk is uh, taken to processing before processing separation and pasteurization and standardization of the milk is done the recipe formulation is done in standardization different products may be formulated like cream skim milk whey powder and casein powder so the basic steps included in milk processing include pasteurization blending homogenization and quality control testing the quality control testing uh, includes at different stages like uh, reception during reception of milk during online processing of milk and uh, even when the milk is being packaged quality testing standards include quality tests like acidity that is uh, acceptable limits and your 0.18% uh, 
the standard through which titratable acidity is uh, uh, calculated is ISO 6091. Same like antibiotic residues, freezing point, fat, protein, and lactose is calculated. The respective standards are followed. If the industry is uh, ISO certified, like ISO 22000, so that industry must follow these ISO standards to uh, to test the uh, milk and its products with these specific ISO standards. Verifying the pasteurization process, that is also a quality indicator for milk uh, quality. The past life the past light test is an internationally accepted method used by dairies and food manufacturers to verify pasteurization for many types of dairy products. The past light test verifies the completeness of milk pasteurization by detecting alkaline phosphatase, a natural enzyme in milk that is destroyed by the heat and hold time of pasteurization. The test takes three minutes and multiple samples can be run simultaneously however only one sample can be read at a time quality control in the milk marketing chain quality control in the dairy industry must cover all the quality aspects of milk and milk products throughout the total milk chain uh, from the dairy cow to the consumer at the dairy farm at milk collection centers at reception in dairy factories within the dairy factory during marketing of processed products something after the milk has left the farm where it is produced the first control takes place when it arrives at the collection center or at the platform of the dairy farm information is required about the quantity quality hygiene composition water content etc this is, this is needed to determine the payment that the producers will receive for milk then labeling and record keeping milk testing Different tests are performed uh, to test the milk, either it is fit for uh, processing, consumption or not. Platform tests. Platform tests or milk reception tests are the commonly used names for the tests carried out on the raw milk at, at collection or reception. These can be carried out both at the milk collection centers and at the dairy plant. Milko scan is used to determine fat contents, SNF, density, protein, lactose, water, temperature, salt, pH, and total solids. Organoleptic tests. Milk quality is just uh, judged by the use of a person's senses, view, smell, taste. Lactometer or density test is a quick method to determine adulteration of milk by adding water. Plot on boiling test or simply it is called COB test. Heating a small amount, 5 ml of milk in a test tube over a flame or by immersing it in boiling water for 4 minutes. The result can be seen immediately if the milk is sore or abnormal, colostrum or mastitis milk. The milk will clot and not pass this test. Alcohol test is used uh, to check either the uh, milk is uh, fit for uh, pasteurization or not. And rapid draination of elevated acidity of milk. The test is carried out by mixing equal quantities of milk and of a 68% ethanol solution made by mixing 68 ml of 96% alcohol with 28 ml distilled water in a test tube. If the milk contains more than 0.21% acid, this results in coagulation of the milk proteins and the milk is sold. The milk will clot and is not fit for any process which involves heating like pasteurization. Common tests at dairy plants include titratable acidity to check the acidity and lactic acid production in concentration in milk. If the acidity is higher than 0.18%, the milk quality is poor and it cannot be heated and processed. For this test, Sodium hydroxide solution is added to the milk by titration. The more sodium hydroxide to add before the milk is neutralized, 
the higher the acidity of the milk. Gerber test is used to determine the fat contents in the milk. Some milk is added to a bicarometer together with sulfuric acid and amyl alcohol. Then it is centrifuged at a higher speed and water bath is needed. The milk contents and fat uh, will be separated on the basis of gravity. Chemical adulterants in milk are checked to determine whether uh, milk is adulterated with these chemicals or not and definitely it will set the uh, quality parameters for milk. Cane sugar test. Sugar is mixed, mixed in milk to increase its solids, not fat contents. To increase the LR of milk, which is normally below the normal value of if diluted with water. In laboratory, cane sugar or sucrose in milk reacts with acidified resorquinol and gives red color. Urea is added in the preparation of synthetic milk to raise its SNF. Turmeric paper method is used to test the urea in the milk. Formalin is used is added in the milk to preserve it in containers. Formalin is highly toxic and carcinogenic. Sodium bicarbonate is used to avoid curdling of milk during transportation. Starch floor of Sanghara water curl trope is commonly added to increase the density of milk like LR. Soap or detergents are added to improve the milk foamy formation. Sorbitol is added uh, in milk to reduce its LR. Addition of sorbitol will increase the LR. Boric acid and borax is added in milk to increase its density. Quality control laboratory and its function. The laboratory should be able to control the following. Quality of raw milk during collection and at reception. Various quality aspects related to processing. Quality of the finished milk products. Quality of the milk products during storage and distribution. Cleanliness and hygiene at the milk processing plant. Maintenance of QC lab equipments. The routine cleaning process of all QC lab equipment is as follows. Rinse with cold water, wash and brush in hot water containing a detergent in an 1% solution that is washing soda. Rinse in hot distilled water and examine for cleanliness. Allow to dry upside down in a dust free surrounding. After use, preferred should be placed vertically in a cylinder. Simple sterilization methods of equipment include immersion in boiling water for sterilization or autoclaving or heating in hot air oven that is 160 degrees Celsius for two hours. It is used for uh, uh, glass pairs used in QC lab. Bacteria in milk. The major group of bacteria in milk is the group of lactic acid bacteria. These are able to use the lactose in the milk and to convert it into lactic acid. The most important family in this group is the Streptococcus lactus. These multiply and grow very fast when the milk is kept at ambient temperature after milking. The produced lactic acid causes the natural soaring of milk. The primary source of these bacteria is the environment, air, dust, dirty equipment and operators. How soon the milk turns sour depends on the degree of contamination and on the temperature of milk. Therefore, proper cleaning and sanitization procedures are essential to control the quality of milk. Cooling to a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius or chilling it makes the bacteria inactive and prevents them to grow and produce the lactic acid. Once again, the milk should be produced as clean as possible in the first place, but after that it should be cooled soonest so that the bacteria multiplication and growth should be hindered. There are also types of microorganisms which make use of other milk components like the proteins and the milk fat. All this microbial activity deteriorates the quality of milk. Therefore, only fresh milk of tested quality should be used as raw material to enable processing into high quality milk products. For this reason, the dairy industry strictly controls the quality of the incoming milk from the dairy farmers. If the milk quality does not fulfill the set minimum quality standards, it is definitely rejected 
This means an economical loss to the farmer. Most countries have implemented special laws and regulations concerning the composition and hygienic quality of milk and milk products to protect both uh, the consumers and the public health. Heating is another method to prevent the streptococcus lactis to produce too much lactic acid and make the milk sour. In the dairy plant, this is usually done in the form of pasteurization. That is, two types of pasteurization, um, like uh, milk is heated at 72 degrees Celsius for a period of 15 seconds. After pasteurization, we are sure that all pathogenic bacteria, in particular the one causing tuberculosis, and at the same time, most lactic acid bacteria are destroyed. When the milk is cooled after pasteurization, it can be kept for approximately five to six days by the consumer without spoilage. However, certain organisms are capable of surviving pasteurization and continue to multiply during reposition. These bacteria are uh, in, an important source of concern because they reduce the production life. To eliminate these bacteria, Milk can be boiled or uh, sterilized at a temperature of uh, uh, 120 to 140 degrees Celsius for two to three seconds. Sterilized milk will keep its quality for a longer time without cooling. However, at these high temperatures, the rate of milk is the taste of milk is affected, and its organoleptic properties may may disturb. This diagram shows the uh, bacteria and its uh, uh, relevance to the temperature zones. The bacteria may survive easily on ambient temperatures that is 20 to 30 degrees Celsius range. However, uh, as, as soon as possible, the milk should be uh, brought to chilling temperature so that these bacteria cannot multiply. In this diagram, uh, uh, the temperature uh, line shows that uh, the increase in temperature will directly uh, affect the bacterial uh, growth or multiplication. As far as temperature is increased and brought about to 100 degrees Celsius or above 100, the bacteria present in milk will be killed. However, some strains of bacteria may survive. Although when temperature is uh, increased to uh, 120 to 140 degrees Celsius, that is uh, uh, sterilization temperature, um, almost all bacteria uh, are killed and the shelf life of milk or keeping quality of milk increases. This is the uh, chilling temperature zone where bacteria may not uh, multiply easily, however, the time and temperature relevancy must not be ignored. As far as uh, temperature is decreased to freezing point or freezing temperature is achieved, the bacteria in the uh, milk may survive, however, uh, their activity may be hindered, so the uh, shelf life of milk may be increased. Somatic cells in milk. Somatic cells count, rep counts represent another important milk quality parameter. The word somatic means body and thus a somatic cell is a body cell. Most important in milk are the leukocytes, white blood cells. Milk originating from an infected udder contains a high concentration of uh, leukocytes. Consequently, somatic cell count are an important indicator of udder health, in particular of Mastitis. Fresh milk from healthy cows has a somatic cell count of 200,000 cells per ml of milk. Cell counts from hard bulk milk, which are consistently in excess of 500,000 per ml, are an indication of a high prevalence of mastitis in the herd. At the farm, the cows can be checked easily for mastitis by California mastitis test. The relation between the results of the CMT and the somatic cell count of individual cows is shown in this table. CM, uh, on one side of this table is the CMT score and on the other side is the average somatic cell count in milk. If the average uh, somatic cell in the milk is uh, 100,000, the uh, mastitis will be negative. 
as the somatic cell count in milk increases to 300,000, the traces of mastitis may be found. In case of 900,000 somatic cells in milk, it will be considered in light mastitis or class 1 category. About 2,700,000 cells will be considered in class 2 or se severe mastitis, 8100,000 will be considered in class 3 and very severe mastitis. <clears throat> so the uh, 300,000 somatic cells in per ml of milk may be considered for con uh, consumption or uh, further processing. However, from above 300,000, milk may not be uh, utilized or processed in their industry. Milk with a high somatic cell concentration can be harmful to human health and contains less casein. In addition, milk with a high cell count generally contains an increased amount of enzymes which have effect on the quality of the protein and the fat in milk. The presence of these enzymes in milk increases the potential for off flavors and odors because the somatic cell count of raw milk is important for the shelf life, flavor, and the yields, particularly of cheese. Milk processors strive to obtain raw milk of the highest hygienic quality from their producers. Contaminating bacteria that are found in milk uh, include bacillus circus. Its nature and disease effects include produces toxins that cause diarrhea and vomiting. Bacillus circus pores heat resistant and may survive even after pasteurization. Brucellosis prolonged fever in children, compilobacter jejuni, bloody diarrhea and abdominal pain. Coxilla burnitae present in cow's milk resistant to heat, Q fever, high fever lasts for up to two weeks. Unknown prolonged fever in children. E. coli present in raw and soft cheese, bloody diarrhea. Mycobacterium avium, suspicious subspecies paratuberculosis, stain of mycobacteria, mycobacteria that can withstand pasteurization, causes Crohn's disease, also known as inflammatory bowel disease. Mycotox, Mycobacterium bovis, panicating tuberculosis in human and cow. Salmonella, salmonellosis raw milk and milk products, diarrhea and high fever. Microbial standards of raw milk. The standard plate count per ml of milk is used to determine the bacteria present in the raw milk. The standard is given as low. The pasteurized milk should have a SPC per ml not exceeding 300,000 bacteria as already told. The somatic cell count uh, is considered in acceptable limits. Not exceeding 200,000 bacteria, very good standard uh, bacteria that is 200,000 and 100,000 bacteria it is considered in good standard between 100,000 and 1500,000 bacteria. It is con considered fair standard over 500,000 bacteria. It is milk is considered poor grade milk. The growth of microorganisms in milk, food supply water, energy, carbon, nitrogen, vitamins and minerals, oxygen supply, aerobes and anaerobes, acidity and pH, preservatives, light, temperature, antimicrobial constituents. Now we will discuss about good practices. There are different good practices like good agricultural practices, good manufacturing practices, good veterinary practices, good laboratory practices and good hygiene practices. All good practices must be uh, considered in uh, dairy production and processing uh, mechanisms. GMP like good manufacturing practices are industry guidelines that can ensure the manufacture of a safe dairy product during the day to day operation. And must conform to GMP as defined by the FDA. This regulation details various standards of floors, for floors, walls, doors and windows, lighting, ventilation, water supply, plant cleanliness, disposal of waste and sanitary personal practices. GMP implementation seeks to increase the hygienic level at the collection, collecting centers and to maintain the milk quality up to the moment of dairying 
delivery to the dairy plant. Now we will discuss about hazard management and critical control point. How it can be implemented in a dairy industry as uh, complies ISO standards. There are seven principles of hazard like analyze hazards, determine critical control points, establish critical limits, establish monitoring procedures, establish deviation procedures, establish verification procedures, and establish record keeping procedures. Food safety hazards in dairy products are of three uh, natures like physical, chemical, and biological. Physical hazards include machinery, environment, packaging, personnel. It consists of detectable pieces of non poor material, foreign bodies such as glass, wood, metal, past, plastic, which have found their way into food from different contact substances. Microbial Microbiological hazards include, un, uh, uh, include different microbes originating from unhealthy animals, people, hands, milking utensils, water, production area, like uh, if good hygiene practices are uh, not up to the mark, ingredients and additives, packaging and packs. Microbial hazards are of four kinds like bacteria, viruses, fungi and protozoa. These are different kinds of bacterial hazards like uh, uh, Brucella melitensis, Salmonella species, Compilobacter jejuni, Yersinia and Enterocolitica. These are protozoan species and viral hazards include Enteroviruses, including polioviruses and Coxa virus, rotaviruses, same like FMD, that is a disease of animals, foot and mouth disease, may uh, may may happen in different animals, hepatitis viruses. We will discuss about four. Uh, steps in cotton production like process level, hazards, their control and orientation. At process level, raw milk is received. Hazards may include raw milk can infect with pathogenic microorganisms. Control mechanism may be microbiological quality of milk at cooling storage. Orientation providing separation of raw milk with heat processed product. At process level, separation and pasteurization of cream, cooling below 5 degrees Celsius, and maturing. Hazards may include failure of pasteurization cause pathogen survival. The control mechanism may include control of pasteurization effectivity with phosphatase test. Orientation includes providing key records of time and temperature. At process level, brine addition for setting salt water ratio. The hazards at this stage may include if motion not being correct, correctly, existing bacteria can grow. Control mechanism must include small water droplets in emulsion. Orientation providing the prevention of bacteria growth with emulsion controls. Economics of clean milk production. A payment system can be developed which takes several of the following criteria into account like quantity, uh, composition and hygiene. Frequently, frequency of milk payments to members daily, weekly, once every two weeks or on a monthly basis. Seasonal variations in price are due to temperature fluctuations or in tropical zones. The climate causes strong seasonal variations in milk volume produced. Milk pricing depends upon transportation, milk collection costs, milk testing costs, milk prevention costs, milk processing costs, milk marketing costs, stationery and other uh, uh, utilities like rent of buildings, salaries, costs of electricity and water. Now we will discuss about milk bone infections. Milk bone infections include bovine tuberculosis, brucellosis, anthrax, 
salmonellosis, listeria, leptospira infection, Q fever, FMD, foot and mouth disease, toxoplasmosis, and hypersensitivity reactions. Contamination of milk by humans, septic sore throat and diphtheria, typhoid fever, paratyphoid fever, infectious hepatitis, polio infection, enteritis, amoebiasis, guardiasis, contamination of milk from environment may include botulism, coli infection, rat bite fever. Milk borne diseases that are transmitted to humans include infection of milk dairy from the cow, infection of milk directly from the cow. The diseases are essentially of bovine origin that may secondarily transmitted to human, especially if raw milk is consumed. The causative organisms enter the milk through the mammary glands or through fecal contamination and thus cause a disease condition in persons who consume such milk without pasteurization or boiling. Bovine tuberculosis, undulant fever or malta fever. Infection from man to cow and then to milk. These diseases are essentially of human nature but can become established in the order of cause, example septic sore throat disease, which is actually an acute tonsillitis, begins suddenly with a chill, fever up to 105 degree Fahrenheit, severe swelling and soreness of the throat with painful swelling. Contaminated milk from the infected cows is the main source of infection. Number three is the direct contamination of milk by human beings. These diseases may be transmitted to the milk by direct contamination through human contact, either by carriers or patients, like typhoid fever, paratyphoid fever, dysentery, gastroenteritis. Four one is indirect contamination of milk by human beings. These are human diseases. The pathogenic organisms which enter the milk through contaminated bottles are other utensils, water supply, insects and dust. Typhoid or paratyphoid fever, dysentery. So that is all about today's training. We have discussed all the aspects of milk safety and quality assurance in dairy industry uh, from farm to fork. Hope so all participants have got uh, the clear message that is delivered through this training, how the hygiene, safety and quality uh, parameters must be ensured to uh, supply safe and wholesome milk. Thank you.